I'm Karen Armstrong. Like you, I'm very busy. In fact, I work two jobs. I'm in between my jobs, and yet I still want to feed my family healthy foods. So tonight, we're going to make a kale and sausage soup that's delicious, but also very filling and very healthy. So let's jump on in. All right, all you're going to need is a very large cooking pot because everything goes in here. Let's turn this on low. going to do is take just a tablespoon of the minced garlic. Everybody should always have the staple of garlic and onion in their kitchen because you can do a million things with it. This is one of those times. One tablespoon of the garlic and we're going to do one medium onion that's all chopped up. Then I've taken pre-cooked turkey sausage, an entire package. I've just chopped it into little bite-sized pieces and this is going to go in there too. We're going to simmer this on this low heat for about five minutes. While this is simmering, let me explain to you about our ingredients and why they're so good for you. Kale has seven times the beta carotene of broccoli. This is one of our secret, richly packed vitamin foods that we need to learn how to incorporate into our diet. We're going to be adding kale to our soup today. Then we have our red potatoes, and our red potatoes are rich in vitamin B6, which actually elevates the serotonin in your brain, and potatoes have melatonin in them. Melatonin is the ingredient that you need to be able to sleep well at night. So this is an awesome, awesome dish to help you relax, feel better, and full all at the same time. Okay, our sausage, onion, and garlic are now simmering. And what we're going to do is add six cups of low sodium chicken broth. This is two cups, so let's do three times this amount right into the main mixture. So in measuring, six cups is exactly one large can of low sodium chicken broth. Last few drops. It's all good for you. Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about kale while we let this simmer a bit. And we're going to bring this to a boil. Kale has vitamin A, C, and K. Vitamin K is potassium, and many people are deficient in potassium. It's very rich and the nutrients that you need to be able to regulate your blood sugar. It's also an anti-inflammatory. There are a lot of people that are suffering from arthritis, fibromyalgia, and they need to incorporate some kale into their diet to help ease those daily pains. All right, the way that we prepare kale is we want to be able to take it off of the stem. Sometimes you can just bring it right down like that and take the stem off. Otherwise, it's a very earthy, dense, leafy vegetable, so it's easy to work with. And what we need is about eight cups of kale to go in this particular soup. And I think we're just about there. The last thing in will be the kale and our red potatoes. And in 10 minutes, we're gonna have dinner. So our soup is boiling. Let's add our eight cups of kale. And just blend this into the mixture. And it softens right up. It's like cooking spinach. And all those nutrients are blended immediately together. And the flavors of the onion and garlic are absorbed by the kale as well. Okay, it softens right up. Oh, it looks so nice. That's more. You can see, it's only been a few minutes. Such a nice, quick meal. And it started raining outside, so this will be awesome to be able to have a nice hot soup that's hearty and healthy. 
for the whole family, and I get to take some to work and enjoy it too. All right, we have about four cups of the red potatoes that have been chopped into fairly small pieces. Let's add that to our soup now too. And really, only for the sake of the potatoes does this need to cook about 10 more minutes so they're nice and soft and everything blends together. Okay, we're just going to let this boil for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go throw on my jacket, grab my keys, and then I'm ready to go. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, our soup is done. I'm in a hurry to get to work. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Here we go. I'm going to make a bowl for my daughter so she can get started eating. And there you go. If you need to salt pepper it, Feel free to, but there should be enough flavor in this gorgeous bowl of soup to pack a punch. Sausage, red potatoes, kale, onions, and garlic, and chicken broth, and there's your hearty dinner on a cold winter's night. And a little for my thermos. My thermos is filled with my soup, and I'm off to work. So for now, I need you to eat well and be well. I'm Karen Armstrong.